Hi and welcome back. Ever since I started putting out sailing videos, people have noticed that I have a custom built solar rack on the back of my boat. The rack is a great addition as it provides me with almost 200 watts of solar, gives me a place for my rear speakers, and also is a wonderful spot to keep my life jackets when they're not in use. It was built by the previous owner, but I think this video is going to give you all the information you need so that you can make one for yourself. The best place to start is with your solar panel. Determine how large of one you want for the needs of your boat. It will be these dimensions that you base the entire build of your rack off of. If you look carefully, you'll see that the solar panel is not a structural element of the rack. What you actually do is you build a tray that the solar panel is going to mount in. I use a lot of power on my boat, so I chose this 200 watt one. Here you can see on the right my current rack, and on the left is a new panel that I'm going to be replacing the old panel with. Later on in the process, you can add a bungee cord net to make the storage for your life jackets. Along with the solar panel frame, there's also going to be two side supports. Keep in mind that the solar panel is a rectangle, but your boat is not square in back so each one of these will have to be built with a slight twist. It's on these that I mount my speakers and then also have a quick release for my fire extinguisher. I can put a link to that in the description. Here's another angle showing the fairly substantial twist that you're going to have to build into the bottom rack. And here's a rough idea as to what the assembly is going to look like when it's together. As you'll notice, the two frames and then Topping that off will be the solar panel. Here are a couple clips showing you the outside dimensions of the solar panel support frame. Remember, these are going to be adjusted based on the size of your panel. Keep in mind, you can't go too narrow on your solar panel support rack because if you do, the vertical supports will have to lean in too far and will most likely hit your stern pulpit. I would say the distance between the top rails of your stern pulpit might be a minimum dimension that you can build your rack at. Here are a couple clips of the inside dimensions of the tray that holds my solar panel. Keep in mind, I would not cut this metal until you have your solar panel, as sometimes the dimensions are slightly different than what the manufacturer says. The entire rack is made out of one inch square aluminum tube. Here's a couple shots showing the height of the rear frame. If you try to do this yourself, I would think the best way would be to set your boat up and then hang your panel about where you think it should be on the boat and make your measurements from there, rather than trying to do all the work in a shop and just hope it comes out right. Remember when determining the height of the solar panel, you can't go too low. If you go too low, you're going to hit your rear stay, so make sure you have that measurement before you do any cutting. These next several clips will show you all the lengths of the horizontal pieces that make up the vertical uprights. I did notice that the original build did not include any diagonal braces to prevent front to back motion, but so far it hasn't been a problem. Here you can see the spacing of all the horizontal braces on the vertical supports. I don't think any of these are too critical in where they're located at as long as they're spaced properly. It appears that all the bottoms are one inch square tabs that are welded on. All right, now that you have all the dimensions, jump in with us. Let's take the quick drive from Boise to Ventura, California, and I'll show you how this whole thing gets set up on the boat. Cassidy, we only have eight hours and 53 minutes left. That's so long! Yeah, this is like... <laughs> okay, my friend Sam's gonna be helping me do this. He's handing me up the pieces right now. You just want to bring those up, set them into those points, and then he's pinning them as you can see. Take us. I'll take a small strap like this and I'll attach this to here to give it some strength so it's just not the tabs holding the weight. You can see that as we place the panel on the rack, it does just slightly touch the rear stay. There's a uh, turnbuckle there, so it doesn't seem to cause any wear and tear on the rigging.
We use a combination of nuts, bolts, and pins to hold the entire assembly together. It's a pretty quick process at this point. Just don't forget to attach your wires. If I forgot anything, just put your questions in the comments below. Also, again, please like and subscribe. It really helps my channel.